the original trees came in 1912 as a gift from Japan. There's good news and bad news. The good news, there are no crowds along the tidal basin to see the famous cherry blossoms. I was really excited to come see the cherry blossoms blooming. I thought, you know, DC would be beautiful. The bad news, there are no blossoms. I don't see any blossoms. We were hoping to see them. I looked at the internet every day when would be peak bloom is. The National Park Service predicted the blooms would peak from March 26th to the 30th. It's not an exact science. We've had this cold snap, which slowed the development of the blossoms. Now, thousands of tourists who planned their spring vacation around the blossoms are disappointed. Many have traveled far. At least 300 from New York City. About 2,000 miles, you think? 1,100 miles. Uh, I think more than 10,000 miles. Sure, you're going to be disappointed, but people need to understand is this is really up to Mother Nature, not the Park Service. Uh, actually, when we were walking around uh, the lake, I actually pulled on the branch, you could slightly see the buds wanting to pop. We're now predicting April 3rd through 6th. We may not see many cherry blossoms, but that's life. Once the buds peak, more than a million tourists are still expected to gather here. But for now, if you want to see a cherry blossom, the best place to go is to the gift shop. I bought a postcard. <laughs> In Washington, D.C. We can't complain weather. Scott Rensberger for the Weather Channel.